Hey everybody, so today is a collab, and today I am collabing with this one of the sweetest, kindest people that I have met. That's a YouTube creator that's just, just to everybody, not just to me, but like she's just a sweet, kind person, and that is Joss Jane. All right, so Miss Joss is just, you know, she's like one of these kind people. She's always you know offering things she reaches out to people she's just a really sweet person and you know she was sending me some samples i surprised her with some samples she was like let's do a sample swap collab i was like you know what you're right let's go on and do it so this is our sample swap she sent me a few things to try out i have not well one of them i already knew so i'm gonna tell y'all about that at the end the other four I, i've never tried so, if you would like to see what Joss has sent me and for to sample, don't go anywhere. Let's get into the sample swap. The first one I'm going to try is this. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her La Absolute. Now, I know that Joss loves her some Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso Rodriguez is one of her favorite houses. And I know that Narciso is known for its must. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, honestly, let me just be real. I really haven't really delved into this house. So she gave me La Absolute. So let me see. This is this is a floral woody must. Okay, I kind of like those. This has top notes of tuberose and jasmine. Now I'm looking at the, the notes right here and I'm like, tuberose? She know me because she knows I love a good tuberose. So we're going to see how this is. Then the middle notes are must. The base is patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. So everything in here is stuff I like. So let's see. So we're going to spray it on paper. Um, I'm not going to necessarily try them on skin right now. Well, maybe I will. If I like them, I'll try them on skin. And then we'll come back to them. And right off the bat, I like this one. Yep, I like this one. Mm-hmm. Just a good one, y'all. It has a sweetness to it. Definitely got that musk in it, but I'm but it's a well done musk because you know, musk back in the day was, you know, like Cody, Joe was that what was that Cody or Jovan Musk? Jovan, I think it was. So I think I identify musk a lot with them, but really a well done musk is very good. And I, but I do know that I like florals and musk. So this is like right up where I like. Okay, the patchouli is not too, you know, woody. Yeah. Okay, let me try this one on, and I'm gonna say something about it later in a minute at the, toward the end. Okay, so I'm gonna try that one on because I really like that one. Okay, already we got one I'm liking. I might have to add. And see, the only thing is when people send you samples, then it put then then now you got new stuff that you're looking at to add to your already extremely large list of things that you want to get. Or or is it just me? Because I know I got an extremely large list of stuff I want. All right, so now next up is this one. And this is Little Dipper by Penrose. Um, this is a floral fruity. I like floral fruities. Top notes are apple, bergamot, and lemon. Middle notes are lavender, mandarin, blossom, and peony. And the base is sandalwood, amber, and cedar. Hmm. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of lavender, but I've been finding that that lavender's well done, mixed correctly, I can deal with because I just don't. I don't really like the lavender. <laughs> I really don't. And lavender can kind of lean a little masculine. I like lavender for medicinal purposes, not to wear as a fragrance usually. So let me see how this one is. But this says it's a floral fruity. It's got that apple and bergamot. Oh, I smell that apple. Okay. I like the top. It's kind of the apple lemon kind of reminds me, um, not not the same, but it's kind of it got that um La danza la da 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 la la You know what I'm talking about the dance of the dragonflies. So right on the top, it kind of has that scent, but it's not that one because that's you know like a more of an apple pie has a lot of vanilla. So as it dries down, it becomes an apple vanilla. But the apple lemon here reminds me of that. Hmm. The lavender isn't so prominent that I couldn't wear it. I like it, but I don't, I I would never buy it. 
you know what I'm saying? It doesn't like reach out to me and say, yes, I need it. Now, I think it's a really pretty fragrance. It very vibes just on paper, like a very really good everyday scent. This would definitely be something like, you know, just where it's kind of uplifting. It's kind of got this kind of brightness to it. Just like a little sparkle. It's kind of got a little sparkle to it from the citruses. So I could see wearing this like, you know, just having it to wear around when I'm going to the store, you know, that, that you know, one of those just, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling out. I need to just throw on something. It's like, as I say, an easy reach. That's what this one is. So that's Penrose by Little Dipper. Now this next one she gave me was one that I was looking to try because I finally got the other one. So let me just shut up, Louise, and why don't you tell what you got? Okay, this is Madonna's Truth or Dare. <coughs> Don't mind me. I'm just dying over here. Um, and so I was, I just got them. I actually was able to get Madonna's Truth or Dare naked. And so I wanted to see what Truth or Dare, but it's so hard to find because they're both been discontinued. But Truth or Dare Naked has been showing up on perfumeonline.ca. I think I got mine off of fragrance in that, but now it's sold out again. But anyway, this is an oriental floral. Oh, I, I love a good oriental floral, y'all, y'all. Love good oriental floral. So this has tuberose. <laughs> Gardenia Neroli, middle notes are Jasmine, Benzoin, Lily, base notes are Vanilla, Amber, and Musk. Okay, Madonna. Okay, Madge. Okay, Madge. Now, let me just say this. I have been a Madge fan since Holiday. Y'all know Holiday. Celebrate Holiday. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, y'all didn't want to hear me sing. Okay, okay. That's, that's fair enough. It's definitely a tuberose. Mm. I do like it. And let me tell you something. It definitely doesn't have that usual kind of celebrity scent. You know, just, and, and don't get me wrong, celebrity scents have a tendency to be very mass appealing. Hey, they're trying to get their, their audience. So it's not that extra sweet. It's, it's definitely an oriental floral because it's definitely got that little vanilla spiciness got that benzoin this jazz this tuberose and jasmine is hitting it this is a definite white floral with that with the bite of neroli because neroli is you know is a flu is a um you know it's part of it's orange blossom so neroli is part of an orange blossom but it's got that bite and that's what this gives it enough of a bite oh i want this damn i want this now but I'm not willing to pay real money for it. Not for, no match. I love you and everything, but no, I'm not paying aftermarket discontinued prices because they are out of control. Out of control. All right. So now the next one is um, Essence Number no. Eight Santal by Eli Saab. Now I have Essence Number no. Nine. And I, I've been kind of trying to get it because this is Francis Kirchin. This is a whole line that he did with Eli Saab. And if you know, he's done a lot of things with Eli Saab. Okay, so this is that. So let me see what's in it. What's the notes? Okay, so let me see the notes. The notes are sandalwood, suede, cedar, vetiver, apricot, cardamom, Chinese, osmanthus. Another thing I love is osmanthus. Apricot and osmanthus is a good, good little vibe for me. Let's see. And you know, I, I kind of like getting Kirk John without paying that Kirk John pricing, you know, for his stuff, the MFK pricing. I like, so I'm kind of like vibing on finding his style because guess what? His stuff is going to smell similar because it's his nose. It's his, it's his vibe. It's, you know, his hot, his style. So these are going to be similar to some of the things he has. Nope. I don't like it. Nope, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what this smells to me like? Now, my sisters go understand this. This smells like a hot pressing cone when it burns your hair. You know what I'm saying? 
let me let me let, let me say this. You know how y'all know what I'm talking about. Remember back in the day, your mama had that crest pressing comb, put it on the stove, it'd be too hot for your hair, and then it would hit your hair and it would sizzle and take some hair out. Shh, burnt your hair out. This is what this smells like to me. With a little sweetness to it. Oh no. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Okay, now let's go back and see. The Narciso absolute on my skin i don't know if i like it y'all i don't know i'm gonna have to keep wearing it i'm not sure about that one i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure now this one right here this last one I, she's actually sent me before this is essence number one rose and this is the one that i regret that i didn't buy because the last time it was in i almost bought it and then i didn't and now you can't get a hold of it. So, huh. but now I do say, they say it's like calligraphy grows and I have that one. And so let me see the notes on this one. Can I find the notes? Oh, the notes is just rows, rows, and rows. Okay, so the notes on this is Damascus rose, Grasse rose, Turkish rose, and Bulgarian rose. And this of course is Essence Number One by Eli Saab. And so it's the same, it's in that same vein as the, um, you know, <sighs> That stuff just went straight up my nose and my mouth when I just sprayed it. It does have a slight spiciness, like it has some pepper or some saffron in it. It doesn't just smell just straight rose. It's got something in it. It's definitely got like a, but it is beautiful. But it does remind me of calligraphy rose now that I have calligraphy rose. So if you cannot find this, Aramis calligraphy rose is very similar. Yeah, I like it. I wish I I wish I had bought it though, because you know I love a good rose. So now I'm gonna need to see if I can find this. Okay, thanks a lot, Joss. No, she had already sent it to me. This is just her giving me a little extra so I could have something to wear if I wanted to. So anyway, that is it for the collab. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you want go and see Joss's video. It is in the description box. Visit her channel. Say I sent you. And most of y'all know Joss though, because she's so because if you watch fragrance videos, you know Joss. She's it's the sweetness. Now, tell me some samples that you've tried recently. Put it in the description. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about those. And before I forget, don't let me forget my shameless plug, y'all. You know I now have channel memberships you can be a member of my channel and member of my channel gives you a few more things we talk about other subjects like these up here and we have a friday night live just for members that we chit chat and then we can be a very more adult and talk about all kinds of things especially being on being a woman because we are women and so if you would like to join my channel just go ahead and see right next to the subscribe there should be a little thing that says join Hit that right there and you can join my, uh, you can join the channel. All right, so it's your Lulu. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later. What's going on? I don't know what's going on right there, but we can't have no bags under these eyes. We can't have no bags. Should I sit here like this? Maybe I should sit here like this. Hello. How are you? Can I, can I do a whole video like this? <laughs> that would be so funny though if I was like, hello darlings. Okay, <laughs> let me get to it. Did y'all like that? I should do that. I should just be like, hello. <laughs> should that be my intro? No. Hmm. Oh, I don't know.